haven't ordered this. That's not my house. Thanks. I hope you don't mind me sitting with you. Um, don't you have other people to help? Around, it's two o'clock in the morning. No one's been here for hours but you. I guess you're right. Who are they, your kids? No. I'm a private investigator. This is Justin and Emily Chambers. His brother? Her family hired me to find this guy. And who's he? He's Andy Jacobs. He's Justin's best friend. He was having an affair with Emily. And he murdered them both. Oh my gosh. Well, didn't you say you were a private detective? Shouldn't the cops or the FBI handle this? Yeah, well, that's the thing. Andy kept a number of journals, and the journals he wrote about his affair with Emily and his love for her, but also how they were going to tell Justin and afterwards take a trip to Mexico. Okay, so I understand their plan, but what happened? Well, as best I can figure, they were going to tell Justin, and then Emily had second thoughts. Andy snapped, shot Justin, burned down the house with Emily in. And then fled to Mexico. That's why they hired me to track him. How did he get from Mexico to Georgia? Well, that's the thing. I followed him down to Mexico, and he came back over the border. Every time I get close, he gets away. And where do you think he is? Around here? I hope so. I tracked him from Nashville. He bought a Ford Explorer. A black one? Yeah. How'd you know? <sighs> this could be nothing. My brother, he rents out a room in his basement. And last week, he had a guy come in, in his mid-30s. Didn't give his name, but he paid cash. He was driving a Ford Explorer, a black one with a Tennessee 10. Thank you. Got it. You think it could be him? I sure hope so. Wait, your pictures. I'll tell you what. Hold on to these, and if you see this guy, give me a call. Got it. Good luck. Thanks.